Disturbances on our side of the tropics. Let's get straight to your local weather expert, Alexandra Cranford. Good evening. Hey, Whitney. Yeah, you may be wondering what's happening with that thing in the Gulf. And the answer is it is not much right now, but it is showing some signs of trying to get a little bit organized. It's center over on the eastern side of the Gulf. And just to let you know right off the top, we're not expecting any big impacts for where we are. I'll show you what we are expecting in a second, but we're looking for this to move westward. And it now has a high chance, officially 70% chance of developing into a depression or maybe even a very brief tropical storm. This would happen sometime. It looks like tomorrow if it does develop before it moves into southern Texas by early Tuesday. It looks like it will already be moved into Texas. So what we will see is just on the fringes of this area of low pressure. It has not developed yet, but again, you can see it trying to get a little center here. This would be during the daytime hours tomorrow. So notice a few of us may get some lucky downpours or some quick showers, some passing rain possible tomorrow, especially farther south toward the coast. But we're just not going to get a lot of rain. We need the rain, of course, with our drought conditions, but our rain chance not extremely high for tomorrow, although some of us will get it. Moving into early Tuesday morning, you can see more heavy rain and some stronger winds will be moving into South Texas at that point. So for us, some passing rain tomorrow again, mostly south of Lake Pontchartrain. It will also be breezy and our temperatures may come down a little. Highs maybe 93, 94 instead of 100. A lot of us will take it. Those east winds making it feel a little nicer at times too. 10 to 20 mile per hour winds expected tomorrow. Then the extreme heat returns and we are talking about some all time record breaking heat potentially later in the week after Monday. Going back quickly to Tropical Storm Hillary where it is right now. The National Hurricane Center has noted that the center is kind of breaking up. Any tropical storm force winds are now way on the eastern side of the center. But interesting to note that they place the official center at this point pretty much right over Los Angeles. Winds now down to 45 miles per hour. Some higher gusts though on the eastern side of the storm and has been moving so fast now moving at near 30 miles per hour. So fast moving system by tomorrow morning. It may already be well north of Las Vegas and maybe even north of San Francisco with that rain continuing over there. Here is precision cast and even for LA, it does look like the rain may be easy within the next few hours, although some spots have gotten five, six inches of rain in the county, not for LA itself. I'll show you some rain totals in a bit, but in the meantime for tonight, things should be drying out for the Southern California area, and this takes us into Monday afternoon. It will be much drier and oh yeah, there's a lot of other stuff to talk about, including this weekend, two new tropical storms, Emily and Franklin, Franklin in the Caribbean Sea, but incredibly, when you look at this map, none of these is looking like a big threat for our area, and most of them won't even come close to us, including Franklin heading out to the north and eventually out to sea. I'll have a lot more on all this coming up in a few minutes.